He died in his mother's arms on the eve of Mother's Day 2014. Despite being only nine months old, Kendarius Edwards was not too young to be targeted by a gang leader. The order came from behind bars at Autry State Prison, where Kenneth Eric Jackson was head of the Bloods-affiliated sex money murder gang in Georgia. Kenneth, who also goes by the name KG the God, communicated his plans through a cell phone someone had smuggled inside, according to an indictment. He was incarcerated for his role in burglaries and other crimes. We are in a war with gangs in DeKalb County, and too many innocent people are being hurt, said the district attorney. None more so than Kendarius, who had just begun to crawl. He was killed because his uncle violated the rules of the Bloods. It is about as terrible a thing as I've seen in 17 years, a prosecutor said. For ordering the hit, Jackson is charged with malice murder, felony murder, multiple counts of aggravated assault, and violation of Georgia's Street Gang and Terrorism Act. Facing the same charges are Marco Watson and Christopher Florence, who, along with Devin Thomas, forced their way into the home of Kendarius's grandmother in May 2014. Thomas, a mid-level member of Sex Money Murder, was convicted in November 2015 of shooting the bullets that killed Kendarius as his mother cradled the infant in her arms. Thomas is serving life plus 20 years in prison in a plea deal that avoided him potentially getting the death penalty. Watson participated as part of his initiation into sex money murder. According to a law enforcement official, the indictment illustrated the reach of national gangs such as the Bloods and the Gangster Disciples, who began infiltrating DeKalb and other parts of Metro Atlanta about 2010, 2011. Kendarius's mother, Tanika Smith, was hit eight times as she held her infant son while hiding in a bathtub that bloody day in 2014. She suffered permanent damage to her vision and sense of smell and taste when one of the bullets lodged in her face. As we stated, this was in retaliation for what her brother did, so let's detail that. The day was May 3, 2014. Arguably the best boxer in boxing history, Floyd Mayweather Jr., was lacing up his gloves to defend his title versus Marcos Madonna. A group of people had gathered at the Mountain Lake apartment complex on North Harrison Road, basically having a fight party. A 25-year-old Mountain Lake resident said he ran out of his apartment nearby when he heard gunshots. He said numerous people were in a garden apartment watching the Floyd Mayweather championship fight, drinking and socializing, spilling outside into a grassy area at the corner of the building. The man said some young uninvited guests arrived, leading to a fight, which then got worse because, he said, everybody had guns. It was said that Blood's gang member, Alexis Malone, got into a fight with a woman at the party. Tanika Smith's brother and sex money murder member, as Lushla Smith, a.k.a. Boo, jumped in to help Alexis Malone. At some point, Michael Phillips, who was also at the scene, was shot and killed. A resident at the complex said the gunman had come at Phillips from two sides, and he raised his hands in surrender. That's when he was shot. It was said that as Lushla, his younger brother, Cutris Johnson, a.k.a. Lil Red and Camonte Cullens, were responsible for the May 3rd murder. This would be the start to the crime spree which culminated in the death of nine-month-old Kendarius Edwards, as Lushla Smith's nephew. Within a week of the murder, as Lushla and the others grew concerned that Alexis Malone might tell cops that she witnessed the shooting. The decision was made to kill Malone. On May 10, 2014, another woman, Kayla Dixon, convinced Alexis Malone to go with a man to commit a robbery. Police say, as Lushla Smith, Cutris Johnson, Kimonte Collins and Kayla Dixon all knew the actual plan was to kill Malone. Kayla Dixon was accused of luring Malone to her death by driving her to a park where as Lushla Smith and his cohorts shot her several times and hit her in the face with a brick, according to charges read out in magistrate court. An anonymous call led to the discovery of Alexis Malone's body, which was found on a gateway in DeKalb. Witness testimony read aloud in court, indicated that Kayla Dixon believed that the three males planned to kill her the night Malone died, but she ran away. Five hours after Alexis's body was found, the retaliatory shooting took place. This was the hit ordered by Kenneth Eric Jackson, KG the God. At the time of the murders, Jackson was in continual communication with Sex Money Murders National Second in Command, Robinson, Mac 11 Lazala, who was incarcerated with Pistol Pete, the gang's leader, in Supermax, the Colorado Federal Penitentiary that houses the nation's most dangerous criminals. Watch this video for more info on Pistol Pete and Mac 11. Anyway, as Lushla's murder of Alexis Malone was not authorized, therefore, he had to pay. In this case, it was by way of his family. 
police at his Lushla and and his younger brother either stayed in the home involved in the Saturday night shooting or had connections where the baby lived. The neighborhood is off Reedon Road in South DeKalb. Devin Thomas, Marco Watson and Christopher Florence forced their way into the home on Lonnie Farm Road, where little Kendarius was with his mother, grandmother and a family friend. With their faces covered with bandanas, they kicked in the back door of the home, sometime after 10.30 p.m. The three terrified women inside, grabbed the baby, ran upstairs and tried to lock themselves into a bathroom. The mother got into the bathtub with the baby to shield him from what happened next. The gunman kicked the bathroom door in and then fired at them multiple times. The victims were transported to the hospital where the infant later died. The women were wounded, but survived, as did the victim's teen aunt, who escaped the gunfire by hiding in an adjacent bedroom. She called for assistance, investigators said. The hunt was on for everyone we mentioned in this story. Two days later, on May 12, just after midnight, Atlanta SWAT team members pulled 19-year-old Islushla and his brother, 16-year-old Cutris Johnson from a motel room. They were taken in a charge for the roles in the murder of Michael Phillips and Alexis Malone. Later, Collins and Dixon eventually turned themselves into police. Kayla Dixon entered into a plea bargain for voluntary manslaughter and gang charges. As Lushla's younger brother, Johnson, who was 16 at the time of the killings, pleaded guilty to reduce charges previously and was sentenced to serve 15 years of a 20-year sentence. Kimonte Collins got two life sentences, and as Lushla got one life term plus 40 years. Watson was arrested on May 28 for aggravated assault and felony kidnapping. He was arrested that date in conjunction with Eunice English, 24, for the same charges. Thomas was arrested May 12 for making false statements or writings. By June, Watson and Thomas were both charged with the murder of the nine-month-old infant. Christopher Florence, 30, was arrested at his home two years later, in late January of 2016. But this about wraps it up for this one, but as always, stay low and thanks for watching.